If you don't know by now, AI games are experiences most likely made by a bot. Many websites on the internet can easily expose you to these creations. The most popular one being ChatGPT. These bots will do almost anything a human tasks them to make, unless it's something that will break its terms of service. So any human can type in a simple prompt, for example, make a free Robux scam game, and the bot will obey your command. Though doing less work all the time may sound nice, it has its consequences. For example, if you ask it to make something too advanced, complicated, or long, it will make many mistakes. Not sure if it's on purpose to encourage you to buy the membership it offers, or just some accidental mistake. Along with that, scripts created from them can easily be spotted if you spent some time in Roblox Studio. Various games on the platform are like 30% made from these bots. Some factors can include icons, game descriptions, thumbnails, and more. Although that's not the only use of AI nowadays, you can even use a thing called TTS. TTS is an acronym for the word text-to-speech. Text-to-speech converts any text into audio, exactly how I get my voice from. I found some great examples of how text-to-speech works as well, one being a game I used to work on. It was called Blockside Brawl, and how you would play is that you'd fight bosses with a combat system that I bought for real money around a year or two ago. Welcome to the Blockside Brawl Training Hub. In this comprehensive training facility, participants will gain essential knowledge and proficiency in mastering the fundamental aspects of the game. Our curriculum is designed to provide a thorough understanding of movement mechanics and various in-game features. As part of this immersive experience, participants will have the opportunity to engage in combat with their knowledge. The other example is these two individual games I found on Roblox that I found kind of enjoyable and funny. Just listen to the first interactions that play between you and the NPC. Hey, it's Freaky Bob. Why haven't you been answering my calls? Are you okay? I know you're not ignoring me on purpose. I miss you and I want to see you again. I'm hosting a freaky party today where we'll have freak offs. Make sure you be there. Or be square. Ha ha ha. I'll see you then. Good morning, Freshman Chan. Even though I can't see you yet, I'm sure you look stunning today. Anyways, school starts in approximately five minutes, Freshman Chan. You, you better not be late or you'll make the greatest senior at the academy angry. Yeah, this is self-explanatory, but it's really funny to see these stories unfold. To summarize the first game, you were invited to the antagonist Freaky Bob's party, where he claims to have lots of freak-offs with you and a few other NPCs. After inspecting his crib, you decide to explore Freaky Bob's house, which he didn't like. After all I've done for you. I'm not the crazy one. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. You're here to steal my freak. I won't let you. After you escape the little jail cell he put you in, you discover a dead Patrick and a pay to win Mr. Krabs. Or, thanks for letting me out, me boy. I see Freaky Bob got you too. How about this? If you give me maybe 100 coins, he'll give you something to take him down. Arr, 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 arr. Who has the balls to ask for your money while being enslaved. After you escape, you're met with an unskippable side quest, with this dude yapping for like five minutes. I'm not even lying, it is just yapping about nonsense. Remember when I was talking about how scripts can identically be spotted out? Here's a clear example of that. What seems to happen is that a script is making parts spawn at your direct location where the sponge will follow. So if we go into the roots of the game itself, the sponge is chasing invisible parts laid out and not us. After all of that nonsense, you decide to sleep in Squidward's house, 
where you have nightmares of Freaky Bob, leading into this cool, awesome, human-made boss fight. This one is obviously AI created. It's so obvious, I bet the creators of the game typed, make an NPC shoot at players every once in a while with sound playing. Another detail can be found in the bullet that he attacks us with. It is a slightly transparent sphere with studs on it, though this can be just be caused by using instance.new. If you don't know what instance.new is a Roblox Studio function used in scripts to create parts in game that appear without the developer actually putting them in the game. After that short boss fight wannabe, you get lectured by Freaky Bob about him wanting to turn you into the ultimate life form? What happened about getting freaky? After the obby, he kills our mother Jessica, and he then talks about wanting to date us or something. Do you know who this is? That's right. Ha 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 ha. It's your mother. She's gone. I made her disappear. Ha 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 ha. This is what you get for leaving me. Why did you leave me? Why? 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 Why did you leave me? Why we could have been so much more? Why? 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 After that, we wake up from our dream where we face Freaky Bob one last time in an ultimate boss fight, where again, many AI aspects can be seen. The yapping, the shooting, and more can be spotted here. After you defeat him one last time, he apologizes for his actions. And you have the option to accept or decline his offer. Don't shoot me. I'm sorry. I'm lonely. I have no... Ah! Why? Why did you do this to me? Why? Finally, after politely declining his request, I then the good ending badge. Overall, it's a pretty fun game, not going to lie. And you should, like, play it sometime if you haven't already. Not going to lie, I was too worked up on the Freaky Bob game that I completely forgot about this game for a second. It's pretty much the same concept as the original Freaky Bob game. Meet up with the NPC, let them yap a second or two. They get angry, maze, some confrontation, then a final boss fight where you get to kill or spare Freaky Gojo. To summarize what you learned in today's video, you learned what AI games on Roblox are, how AI can make scripts for you for free, the purpose and acronym for TDS, how instance.new works, and how AI games are all over the platform on Roblox. It takes a long time and dedication to produce these kinds of content, especially for me as a young content creator. I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel before you hop off this video. Also, if you're into Roblox Studio content and would like assets of some sort for your game, check out my shop down below. Who knows? Maybe I'll get my fourth ever donation there. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you later.